Good morning. Day 16. Shaky. I'm shaky today. Everything I'm doing is just like shaky. Um, sorry. Um, I know yesterday I was all smiles. I was hurting a lot all day. Couldn't quite get rid of it. I didn't know what was going on. Started with breakfast and uh, kind of it just never went away. Plus I didn't move a lot yesterday. And then um, I asked Tony and Matthew to, you know, let's go for a little walk. So we just kind of walked around the lake a little, not the whole thing, I just out and about around the park area just to move my body and that felt better. I feel like I need to get more exercise because I'm just like withering away. But today my belly feels different. It feels weak. It feels like weak, like I have, um, like I have to go to the bathroom, right? Sharing a lot of information here, but there's nothing in my system, so I can't go. <laughs> Not a lot anyway, um, but I'm shaky. And yes, I've got my shake with me, shaky. I'm trying to drink slowly. I think that was my issue yesterday is I was ravenously hungry. And every time I start to eat, I just, I, I eat like maybe four or five bites and I shouldn't, and I should only stick with like two or three bites and then walk away for a an, an half hour or an hour. Every day is just a learning lesson. That's what I'm learning. Okay, so I took a shower. Always feels good. My favorite place, I swear. It's like <laughs> my go-to. That and behind my beanie, you know. <laughs> um, and when I was in the shower, this oddball um, memory came up. Because, you know, I'm in my head all the time wondering what the heck I did. What did I eat? What did I drink? What did I breathe? What did I do that could have caused this? Whatever, I know. It's just, this is me in my head trying to figure things out. And what came up was um, in my 20s, I was backpacking for a couple months with my girlfriend, Bonnie. And we ended up in this kind of a dangerous situation, not the first time something dangerous happened. But, you know, when you're backpacking, you're, we and we hit every country, we were all through Europe and it was, it was amazing, it was super cool. But there was this one time we were on a train, it was a cattle train, and I call it that because it was one of those times where they kept loading people in and kept loading people in and it was well over 100 degrees and the humidity was well over 100%. <clears throat> and um, something had happened. Uh, we, had, we, we had made like unnecessary stops. People were getting pulled off. I was one of the people who got pulled off. I was so scared. Um, I don't know if they randomly were, choosing people to check out their passports and you know all the whatever I had URL passes whatever um, anyway it was really scary and I and I uh, was in the office where I'm going with that is we were detained and then we were detained again it turned out to be a 36 hour train ride and by this time and no stops we're in the middle of Yugoslavia and there, there was nothing out in the countryside, nothing, you know, cattle maybe. And by this time, everybody is out of water. Everybody is sleeping wherever they could. There were like two people per, per seat. There were people laying down on the floors. There were people laying down next to the, the WCs. That was me. That was. That was the only place we could sleep. It's disgusting. The WC is the water closet in the, in the train. So, you know, urine everywhere. Um, I know that isn't what got me sick at all, because I didn't get sick. 
she actually ended up getting a bad cold after this particular ride, uh, right when we got into Greece, because that was our destination. Um, anyway, we're packed in, people to people to people. I mean, it was like a total cattle car. And we made a ran another random stop in the middle of absolutely nowhere, and there was this ginormous trough, or like a water trough, and it had a spigot. And we all, I mean, we're talking hundreds of people, we just like, just clawed our way out of the train to get to this water spigot in Yugoslavia. It was um, so dangerous, but when you're so dehydrated and so desperate, you kind of just, you're out of your head at that point. And we were, we just, we just looked at each other, we're like, don't care, <laughs> don't care right now. We have to drink, even though we're probably gonna throw it all up and get dysentery and whatever, Jardia. I mean, it could have been super bad. And we just drank and we drank and we, and people were just shoving their bottles in there and people were just like, oh my God. But I tell you what, it was the best just to have wet in the mouth. <laughs> it was insane. Anyway, that was my memory when I was, uh, showering this morning. It's like, what could I put in my body that could have been so incredibly bad that might have stayed? Probably not that. But that was a pretty dangerous time and I ingested a lot of toxins and later that same day actually, ugh, we were actually in a town. We got off the train because we were just desperate. This is after 36 hours, we just, we had to get off the train and go buy bottles of water and some food. We needed something so badly. And we ended up in this little town and the people, oh, I love those people. Mm, they were just lovely. And they said, you know, some of them, not many, but swim, you know, they, <laughs> you know, we were doing all the motions and they took us to this watering hole because it wasn't a lake. It was much smaller than that, and it didn't run off anywhere, so it wasn't like it was a creek. It's like a water hole. And um, pretty big, though. And we all went in, and uh, all the kids were playing and laughing. There was so much laughter. It was really cool. And once again, we looked at each other, we're like, we could get in so much trouble doing this. I mean, like physically, this could be really, 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 really bad, but we didn't care. We were, like I said, 36 hours of sweating with, you know, hundreds of people in this cattle car. And uh, it was just like this promised land of water and people and friendly and happiness. And we bought some bottles of water. So I know we were drinking clean water at this point hopefully, um, and swimming in this really, really polluted water hole. Didn't care. <laughs> it was amazing. It was truly amazing. No, we didn't get sick. Like I said, she ended up with a cold, a bad head cold. So that was a different, that was just from being completely worn down, I think. But that trip was amazing. That was a cool trip. We were in our, uh, we were 25. Yeah, went for like two months. And uh, it was hard coming home. I mean, we were we missed home so badly. We missed our friends and family, but we didn't want to leave. I mean, there's nothing like traveling, especially when you're young and just being free spirited and going where you want, when you want, for how long you want, meeting who you want, having adventures, you know, going to random people's homes, meeting their families, trying to speak the language. <laughs> So much fun. Oh my God, so much fun. We just ended up with families all over, all over. I still, I'm still in contact actually. Oh my gosh, maybe I should tell him. I should probably tell him of my uh, condition. Oh, we met these two brothers, Jan and Gerard in, uh, in Greece. And they are from Amsterdam. 
and uh, we stayed with them. We were in Holland, 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 but we spent time in Amsterdam with them. Whatever, we were all, we were everywhere. My story once again is getting all jumbled. We did a lot of traveling. <laughs> Um, and anyway, we're still in contact, so that's kind of nice. He's married and has kids and a family, and all married have kids and a family, and it's just really kind of cool. So, we did that all over Europe. It was wonderful. Oh, where did that come from? I don't know, just chit-chatting, I guess. So, needless to say, for this morning, I don't feel my top, not my best, although I am showered. I'm expecting a couple of people to come by, say hi. And um, I didn't smell so good, so. <laughs> it's kind of weird when you can say that about yourself. It's like, oh, I need a shower. That's where I'm heading right now. Um, yeah, so anyway, love to you all. Love to me. Mm-hmm. I am uh, on this interesting road. And I do have some interesting information to fill you all in with regarding um, the, chem the chemo treatments and the um, clinical trials. There are a couple clinical trials now that they want me to be part of as well as um, this thing called Care Oncology, which is they repurpose drugs and try to formulate a system that is most healthful for me throughout the chemo process, if that makes sense. Um, they keep, they take my blood, they make sure all my levels are where they're supposed to be. If there's a fall in a level, they up something in something that they're going to give me to make sure that I am supported, my body. My body is completely supported throughout this uh, scenario. So I guess my questions are becoming, you know, is it, is it uh, too much? Because... <laughs> learning. Everybody's learning. Um, so I'll tell you more about that as I know more because nothing's starting for a couple weeks still, although they want to start supporting my body now, hence the shake that I'm drinking. I wish I could drink more, eat more. I try. I do. It's like two sips and whew. But I'm doing it. I'm going to power through these things. Okay, now I am rambling. All right, I already said my goodbyes, so I'm saying it again, I love you. Damn, love me. All right, talk to you soon.